Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License. My Sunday stream, we do a little bit of whatever I want. Today, we're gonna to be playing some more of our Final Fantasy X to New Yevon run. We are getting really close to the end, you guys. We're getting really close to the end. Okay, so. Show the game. Hello, OBS. There we go. It makes me do this dance every time. All right, so. Um, yeah, so we are level 80 and 81 mascots right now, and the goal of this stream is to keep going down in the, um, Via Infinito here. Get down to Trema, okay? So, can we do that in four hours? Um, we're gonna have to get to level 99, but I think, okay. So, like, all of the strategies, basically, for Trema, um, involve using Adamantide, which we don't have. Um, but I am pretty confident that with the higher power garment grid and everyone level with Crystal Bangles, which means fuck Let's ton of us, um, we can beat him. I believe this. So, we are gonna try. That's gonna be the goal, okay? I feel like, I feel like the game is a little bit loud and I'm a little bit quiet. I'm gonna turn the game down a little bit. There we go. Just a touch, no just a problem. touch. I just feel like... I was very quiet compared to it. Everything looks pretty good levels now. Luna. Come to me, microphone. I swear, next time the money fairy visits, I'm getting a new mic. So maybe next week I'll have a new mic. We'll see. Ends. Definitely need a new arm and a new mic, because I'm tired of, like, the bottom, the little plug falling out and it's got nothing to do with uh with the cord <laughs> it's the microphone itself the the jack inside of it's all messed up Wee. Wee. I need to open Come that up Chloe. pain gets all the good lines pain does get good lines Alright, Riku learned Fuku Platter. Let's go look at that. Okay, so where's Yuna at? Okay, she's learning Ribbon right now. I think Pain is also learning Ribbon. Yes, but she just... Oh no, wait, that's Riku. Okay, Riku's now learning Ribbon. Pain is also learning Ribbon. Okay, so... Let's see, we've got Speed Bracer and Crystal Bangle. And Crystal Bangle and APA. Okay, I'll keep the AP egg on Yuna until she finishes learning Ribbon, and uh, then we'll put it on someone else so that they can learn Ribbon, since that's the 999999999 So many nines. So many nines. Alright, so we're in the 50s, so we're like halfway there. We'll have another boss at level 60. Whoa, giant Cactuar. Oh, I should kill the little ones first. <clears throat> oh, escape! That's rude. Here we go. Oh, he escaped too! Okay, whatever. At least we'll kill the jumbo one. I don't think he'll escape. And he didn't. Let's open our LaCroix. Got a lemon cello. Ooh, rabbit's foot. Good, those are good. Upping luck. Definitely want to have one of those for Emma fight. But I think I have everything else I want. So I have the higher power garment grid. We just got to get our mascots leveled up and um, get everybody to level 99. And then I'm thinking what I'm going to do is put the rabbit's foot on Riku, some Kaiser Knuckles on Pain so she can do big damage. Um, and send her through the gates for higher, of the higher power garment grid. And then for Yuna, I'll just give her invincible so she doesn't have to go through the gates. Because we only have one invincible. And I think that if I'm patient and steady with keeping everybody healed up, let's go, then that's wings. possible. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. But first, we got to get to 60 and fight on the conqueror.
Another toy. Got him. level up quite a bit, level up our mascots quite a bit just from random battles getting down to these next bosses. The Conqueror is a fun boss. Chalk this is the 80 boss. Uh, she is a little bit annoying. Maybe not so fun, but I know we can beat her. Then we'll see about if we can beat Remember or not. So yeah. I hope everybody's having a good lovely weekend. I am. I had a really good day yesterday. I'm gonna have a good day today, too. I should know it's gonna be this floor with the like red dragon. Dinosaur. Bring it, punk! Oh my gosh, more cactuars! the rabbit's foot. Oh, good. They're nice. It helps you not miss because of um, high evasion. Oh, uh, big, big bully cap over so over. I think I'm gonna need to move beam. Beam ignores the defense, the extra defense that he has. So, you want to use that. The big ones are so scary. Whee! I still don't know how to do this one without fighting the little, little Tom Gary guy. I think you maybe have to. Oh, I didn't mean to Moogle Beam. Oh my god. Waste of MP. Yeah. Now you're gonna Moogle Beam nothing! You don't have to beat him when he's already down you. Rude. Get off a Moogle Beam! Why do I keep doing this? Maybe they'll die before she does it. Probably not. <laughs> next fight! Next fight! We're switching her back to attack. Alright, we're gonna make 
make an attack this time. There we go. Google Beam was excessive and unnecessary. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. You need it to level up for Trema, who is not Kitty Stuff. He actually will be a little bit challenging. We did not Child beat him before play. when we played on the last playthrough. I do not have the items for the strategy that everyone says works, but I think I can still do it anyways. He needs to get those level ups. Sold. one at the end here. That's okay. We beat him up. We beat him up. Elder Drake. That's what they're called. We got this. Shit. Maybe we don't got this. Sit on a high push. Sit on mega push. Oh, it's gonna take multiple Moogle beams. Okay. All right. Let's do mega potion. Let's do mega potion. Our health way back up. Okay, maybe I do not got this. Maybe I do not. Thank <laughs> you. 
He has so much HP. Come on, there we go. Holy fuck. That was redonkulous. Oh, at least he dropped some Mega Potions. Okay. Uh, let's get Riku back up. Alright. And we proceed. Yeah, I guess I went the wrong way on that one. Okay. But anyway, we have one more cloister. One more cloister before the boss. And this is one we know how to do for sure. Oh, what am I doing? Just regular attacks, my god. Okay, here we go. That's Micah over there in the corner. Okay, let's um let's equip dress sphere we want to use. We're gonna do triple berserkers. Okay, they already have haste, so we don't need crystal bangles. Um we need Oh, I know what we need, I know what we need. We need ribbons. I'm trying to remember, I think it's poison? So instead of, so let's find an, an one that blocks poison. Okay, so we've got crystal bangles and ribbons on everyone as much as we can. Okay, here we go. Let's do it to it. What's up, Micah? Remember you. Oh, no. Don't worry, we got this. We got this, we got this. I get rid of that protect the dispel to it. Nope, can't get rid of it. Yep, it is still there. Okay. And there's no reason during this fight to heal them because that Megaton Press, like, that's really his only, like, attack. And it's going to kill them every time. And they have Regan, so, like, they're going to regenerate a little bit of health. Um, and because they're Berserkers, everybody has got the um, countering abilities. So, like, in addition to actually attacking, they're going to be countering when he attacks them. 
Um, Gunk does poison and removes their magic points, but nobody needs MP as a Berserker. So literally this is all you do. You just attack and then you do Phoenix Downs when he Megaton presses. You know, instead of crystal bangles, what I probably could have done is put like Kaiser Knuckles or something like that to increase attack. That probably would have been smarter. Didn't really think about it. Kind of just a default to crystal bangles because it's so kind of OP and so good uh, to have all that extra HP. But I actually think for this fight, now that I think about it, that probably was not the best strategy. Probably can kill him faster if you put on strength increasing um, accessories instead of crystal bangles. And I have never noticed the girls miss on uh, on this guy. So I don't think you have to worry about any of that. Should be all we have to do. plenty of phoenix down so we should not run out i guess that would be like using the strategy the way that you could potentially mess it up is if you just didn't bring enough phoenix down you can chain on him like I don't I don't ever see the girls chain so I don't think you can oh, oh there they chained a little bit I guess this maybe it's just hard to chain on him I don't know I guess you can. Get a little cheese.
Really be having fun anymore. You must want to end this. I feel like there's a pack there, like not that far apart, and they should chain, so it must just be really hard to chain on them. In particular. And that didn't change, but I feel like it should have. Shoot, I did Phoenix down again. Not what I meant to do.
Megaton pressing. It's like too much. Yeah, go back to using gunk. Just attacking. Hey, never mind because we got him. Hell yeah. Okay, he takes forever, but not too hard, really. Just long if you use that strategy. He's not here. Who? Trema. Who's that? Trema is the founder of New Yevon. He kept all of the spheres from Spears' past to himself, and then vanished without a trace. Who'd have thought he'd crawl down here? But... that was a year ago. So he's probably already... Hmm. Dead? Maybe he was from the start. Me. They say he was able to control the most powerful of fiends. Which is why I really think we should go home now. Okay, so after doing that battle, you actually do get um, 0.2 percentage points. So we should be at 92.6 at this point. Um, so let me see, oh, not that way. <laughs> the next time we see a convenient little um, one of those pads, we'll go back up so we can save and check our percentage. Points. Cause that Everyone scene does give you some little percentage points. Oh, I'm still Berserker. Dang it, I gotta go back to an asphalt. I forgot to switch all my shit back. That got pretty ugly. Tell me something I don't know. Did it get ugly? You were just hurt from the previous fight. Okay, let's switch over to Riku, we keep moving forward, right? We do. We do. We are only like a little over halfway, so we definitely keep moving forward. How are you doing, by the way, Apatif? Are you having a lovely Sunday? Alright, let's switch back to mascot. Then we don't need ribbons, so we can go back to using the speed. Oh wait, no, I have APA. That's all. Then we'll do speed racer. Got. There we go. Okay, we got like no MP. <laughs> we got like no MP. We need to find the save. We need to find a little save point. Hopefully there'll be a floor with an easy pad soon. Ambushed. Holy shit. Get him. Jeez. I'm doing well slowly waking up, waiting for coffee to get done. Oh, coffee is delicious. I had a good coffee this morning. Guess we're gonna have to use some potions to heal up a little bit, so at least we don't die while we're finding a good save point. I guess I could have just backtracked on that same floor and gone up there, but I did not want to. I just thought, like, how long will it take to get to a floor with a good save point? It can't take too long, can it? We can continue. But whatever, I should have backtracked to save. Coffee makes me think of how it's pumpkin spice time. So the other day we got Culver's, and uh, Culver's has like these like. They're called concretes, but they're basically milkshakes that are kind of like Dairy Queen lizards where they mix stuff into it. Anyway, the point is, is they have a pumpkin caramel one, and I got that, and it was delicious. And it wasn't just pumpkin spice, like they put actual pumpkin puree in it. Um, and yeah, that was amazing. I loved it. More pumpkin flavor things should have actual pumpkin instead of just pumpkin spice, in my personal humble opinion. What is this one? 
Ah, uh, good, good, good. Okay. Uh, yes, return to the surface. Okay, so we should be at 92.6 now. So I'm going to open up our little handy dandy save viewer. And we're going to check. Yep, 92.6. So you do, so you get 0.2 percentage points for watching that little scene after the conqueror. Oh, we are not fighting that bitch. Absolutely not. Well, we must have to go backward on this one. Okay, I think I know what to do. That sounds yummy. There's no Culver's here, unfortunately. Oh no, I'm so sorry. You are missing out. You know, there wasn't a Culver's here until recently, but now that I have had the Culver's and I know I know the joys of um, consistent and delicious fast food burgers, I am definitely a Culver's lover. It really is like the best fast food burger that exists. We're on a roll. And I'm sure like all fast food, there are probably Culver's is, specific Culver's is that are shitty, but our one is good. And uh, in general, my understanding is they are really good. They're from Wisconsin. So they have got um, cheese. That they have like cheese uh, sauce that they put on a lot of stuff or serve it with a lot of stuff. And it's really good. Their fries are okay, I have to say. They do not have the best fries, but they have the best burger. And their fries are not bad. They're just like really thick crinkle cut ones, so they're like, eh, you know, crinkle cut fries can only be so good. Okay, so this guy, we gotta be a little bit careful. We're gonna climb up behind the Tonberry for this one. I used to go there when I lived in Minnesota. I do agree their burgers are actually good. Yes, okay, so you know, so you know that Culver's is really good. Okay, so we wanna drop down here without pressing B so we don't accidentally jump on the Tonberry, hop on this guy, and then all is revealed. We can escape. Oh, this this one. We gotta go this way? To the right? Maybe it's to the left. We'll find out in a second. Oh my god, I think I walk around him. Wait, if I walk around him? Can I walk around him? Hang on. Maybe I'm supposed to go this way. Go at your I'm trying to remember how to do this type of floor. I don't know if I remember. that way. I think maybe I do walk around him. Go backwards this way? No. Okay, so I must have to walk around him. I have very little memory of this part, but I know I did it. Okay. And I know that you can do it without fighting any of the giant Tonberries. There we go. Yeah, yeah, you can scoot around him. Okay, then we go up this way. Did you beat Trema no on problem. your playthrough, Apatif? Or did you not quite get that far? Oh, Oversoul for you. Okay. Gathering strength? I don't like that. Ready up a Moogle Beam, just in case. Oh, nope, didn't need it, didn't need it, okay. Well, I don't know what he was gathering strength for, and I don't want to know, thank you very much. Oh, one of these, okay. Um, so, either this way or the other way we can. Oh, 
Oh wait, I can pan. Aha, there's the exit one. Okay. Is it always opposite of the exit one, maybe? Oh, I didn't mean a Moogle Beam, the heck. Okay, good. <laughs> I keep just holding down the button. Uh, come on, kill Here goes. Oh no, she's executing the Moogle Beam! Wasting four units like that. Fart? No, I didn't beat him. <laughs> he is a fart. That's true. Um, but this was when I was young and I wasn't in my prime with gaming. Okay. Well, I'm sure you could go back and beat him. Like, I'm pretty sure I understand enough from our first playthrough and things that I've read um, that we're going to beat him today. Like, I'm pretty sure. It might not be possible. Like, the strategies all, like, seem to require adamantite. And I'm not going to go back and do all the gunner's gauntlet to get an adamantite. I don't think it's necessary. So we're gonna find out together if I'm right <laughs> or if I'm not, and we do need to go get an Adam adamantite to beat him. But I don't think we do. Wow, you missed on all of them, Mr. Giant Jelly. Need a spoon for my jelly. you can vermin last one Whee! So we have to go backwards oh no okay it must be one of the dinosaurs get it yet. <laughs> Try to go back as if I was done. I was not done. Okay, there we go. Now I'm done. Whee!
that King Vermin that we keep fighting, he only shows up here if you have beaten that area, that, um, that Meehen, uh, extra dungeon area with the bombs and stuff. If you haven't, then he will not show up. And I think it works the same with the giant ones. Like, if you come down here before, having done that um, cactuar area that creates the giant guys, then there won't be the giant versions when you come down here. I think. But I don't remember for sure. Um, but I, I think that's true for, like, all the more, like, unique monsters that also appear down here. They only appear after you've fought them elsewhere and, like, unlocked them elsewhere in the game. So cute, Riku. Oh, these ones. We haven't seen this layout yet. We gotta wait until he starts walking back. you today. Of fighting the big Tom Berry, we're gonna fight a couple little Tom Berries. Much easier. That'll clear the way. Nice work. Sold Tonberry. We should still be able to beat them. I think they're pretty good. Just a little more HP. Yeah, not too much more. Super late first, super late first. <laughs> How are you doing today, my friend?
Oh, no, no, no. Backwards. You know, we'll have four kids today. I want to drop in and say hello. And no evening church. What? Really? You have a nice day then. A nice short day. And you can come home and chill afterwards. No other commitment. What are you planning on doing with your evening since you're not going to church this evening? Thankfully, because I needed a small break. <laughs> I'm planning on putting up my Halloween background. Ooh, and swamping out the emotes and setting up the overlays. Oh, yeah, yeah, because it's spooky month. Oh, my God. Oh, happy spooky month, you guys. I totally forgot it's October 1st. That's right. Oh, my gosh. Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do have a spooky stream planned for that, uh, that last Sunday. That last Sunday before Halloween. So we are going to do one. I think, that's, I think the Sunday would be the 29th. Or something like that. Whatever that Sunday is, I am going to do a Halloween stream. Um, I just can't remember the exact date. It's going to be fun. Yeah, happy spooky month! I'm excited. In this new house, we had so many trick-or-treaters last year. So I'm really excited to see all the trick-or-treaters again this year. And that's going to be so cool. I just think, I just think it's so neat. My costume this year is Barbie. I've got like a winter Barbie theme going on with this pink dress that I have, and I've got like a long blonde wig for Barbie. Um, and I have the most amazing sparkly Barbie shoes. Bar they're like sparkly like boot heels. They're like three inch heels. They're like amazing. They make me so tall. Not really. I'm still short, but I'm not so short. I'm more average height. <laughs> I'm more average height with those. Walk around. Really bad breath. Oh my gosh. Good thing you missed. Nice work. Hopefully we'll start getting our ribbons learned soon. I mean we've got the AP egg on Yuna, so like hopefully she'll learn it. Kinda soon. I don't know. It's 999, so it takes forever. Hell yeah. Spooky month. Oh, I love those spooky emotes, Alpha Tiff. Those are so cute. Oh my god. Whose emotes are those? Let's see if I can tell if I put my mouse there. Oh, they're from yours. Oh, I love it. Those are so adorable. You did a good job with those. Okay, so if that one is the portal, then I, I if it's always to the this side. It's this one? Nope. I guess maybe it's random? Which I don't know. I don't know what the trick is for knowing which one it's gonna be. Maybe it's this one. Or it was the one to the right of the portal. So maybe it's just random. So we know it's not the portal, but it's one of the other three.
work. It's kind of funny that underneath Bavel, there's literally every possible fiend and machina in the game. Like, that's kind of crazy. Okay, what's this? It's random, so I guess it's random on this one. So all you can really know is that it's not the one that has the portal. But the one that actually trips the sensor could be any of the others. Oh, he's gonna oversoul. Barry, I'm not gonna bother you or your son. Just walking right by. This is easy. <gasps> you. Adamant choice. I wish you dropped some Adamant tight. But I don't think they do. There we go. He had him. Very close to his knifey. No, no. Oh, you again. Well, we know we can't just attack you, so it won't work. Okay, so we just need to do like one Catlin gun or Moogle beam or whatever on him. Next is coming right up. Eee.
Because there's so many Melbros on these floors. Need some humans. What floor is next? Maybe I should just use a few potions on pain. In case we run into something really crazy. Alright. That should be fine enough. Soul version doesn't really have much more HP than the other, than the regular one. It's so funny, like the oversold versions are supposed to always be harder, but sometimes they're just different. They're not really harder at all. Effortless. That's right, Pain. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen this layout in a minute. Oh, these guys. Okay. I don't... They, so they are like immune. A E S H M A. Okay. They're like immune to everything. All physical, but like if you try to. I remember this from before. If you try to like Moogle Beam them or whatever, like that doesn't work either. I think that's how you. How did, he, how did they spell it? A E S H M A. Okay, it says Dark Knight's Darkness can hit it, but, like, I'm not using Dark Knight's right now. Like, but I'm pretty sure, like, I feel like I tried, like, Moogle Beam, and it doesn't do anything. 
I know attacking it doesn't do shit. Yeah, it guards, and you can't dispel it. I think I might just have to run from these since I'm trying to level up the Moogles. I mean, the um, mascots right now. But, like, watch it, like, don't do shit. It's gonna say guard. Oh no, it did do. I swear to God, I did that before and it did not do shit. That wasn't much fun. Okay, why did that tank my frames? Why did that tank my frames? <laughs> too powerful. He's too powerful. Okay, I lied. I lied. Moogle Beam does work. I could have sworn I tried it before and it did not do shit. This way or is this dead end? Yeah, this dead end. Okay. Okay, so we can just Moogle Beam it. All yours, Yuna. Where are you going? Hell yeah, that's right, Alpha Tiff. Okay, so we can take care of those guys. We'll just move a them. Maybe it's like Catling Gun that I tried before and didn't work. I don't know. I just remember struggling to kill those guys. Unless you, I used, like, magic or something. Before. Because physical, no physical attacks work against them. Oh, these bitches, I hate them. Okay, but we are gonna kill it. We are gonna kill it, because we are OP at this point. After he does this long ass freaking animation. Ah, okay, wait, wait, wait. I know I can Moogle Beam this one. Lower levels get really harder. Got you. Your long ass animations. No reason. How does it feel to be fighting one of your own kind, Tonberry? Kane's dressed just, ju dressed just like you. Don't you recognize her as one of your own? Oh, this. Oh, this. Oh my god. Okay. Um... Oh, okay. Well, if you're gonna do that, we'll just run away. I know I can kill the Omega weapon, though. I know I can kill it. Is this okay? That's too scary. Ah. Yeah, you fight Omega. You can fight Omega weapons down here. <laughs> um, I know I can kill it, though. Okay, you. I know how to deal with you now. Okay, wait. I need Creepo Mega Beam. Bye. 
miss on all. Alright, Moogle Beam, your ass! Taking a little bit longer to kill. Oh, there it goes. So I say, what is nice going work. on? Wait for him to mosey on back. Turn around. Turn around. We are around you. be almost 80, right? We're on like 70 something. Gonna fight these little two tom berries up here. Boom! Oh, that was nice. That was a 9999. Nine, nine, nine. Just regular attacking. Me no like dress fear? Too bad. Too bad. So this time, we're going to do things slightly differently when we get down to the next boss. I'm going to go back and heal before the boss. Save and everything. So 
instead of just jumping right into it. And then we'll backtrack afterwards to make sure we save right after. Oh, 79. Okay, so there's one more floor. What's this one? Oh, that's that guy. Okay. Oh, this guy again. Okay, okay. Wait, we can get him this time. Cause we're okay. Let's go. Moogle beam. Okay. Um, Gatling gun. I've got it. Yeah, I attacked too early. I was trying to get it to. There we go. There, chain. Yes. Okay. Oh my god. I think if I, if I do, oh, doesn't matter because he's dead. Like, I think a holy water will fill, cure that if she This way. I don't know why you jumped all weird like that, you know. Alright, here we are, Cloister 80. So we're gonna go back up and save and reorganize our um all of our stiff. Okay. Save. And then let's do equip. We are going to equip Berserkers again. Um, okay. And actually, I have to pee real quick. Okay, I'll be I'll be right back, you guys. And we'll finish setting up the girls, and then we'll go fight. Chalk. I just realized Ash is behind me. Ash almost never makes an appearance on the stream. There's Ash right there. Hey girl. Hey Ash. That's my roommate's kitty. She normally only comes in on like whenever we're doing um the birthday parodies every year. So y'all usually only see her once a year. So this is special Ash appearance. I didn't realize she was sleeping there. She's so sneaky. Okay. So for um for chalk, we don't need speed bracer because we've got berserkers. Um I think instead of speed bracer, because okay, because she does a petrification, but you can't actually protect against it. It's impossible. So she's going to end up killing two of the girls, and then one will survive because she'll stop doing the petrification once one is left. So I think what we need to do is we need to get high strength so we can do more damage. Okay, what, what do we have for strength? Okay, here we go, here we go. We've got two Kaiser Knuckles. Okay, let's put the Kaiser Knuckles on Riku and pain and hope it's one of those that survives <laughs> and it is a yuna um okay come on where are you okay there we go kaiser knuckles we got lots of power gloves so we can just put use power gloves for the rest 
I think that's going to be the best strategy. Just increase our strength. Watch it be Yuna that survives when I put the better strength things on Riku and Pain. Which honestly, like, it's not that big of a deal because, um... Because once we, you're down to one girl, like, you're gonna win. It's just a matter of time if you have the Berserker, because they will uh, dodge everything because of the evade encounter. All right. Berserkers with the strength items. Okay. Save again. All right. And do we have... have a soul spring we do we have one soul spring okay absorbs hp and mp from one enemy yeah we'll use a soul spring on her all right let's go i come in for you to soul spring oh my god there we go okay oh I have a couple softs oh well there we go Once we're down to one girl, we won't do the stoning thing anymore. We took care of Heaven's Cataract, so... Should be good. And it was Yuna that we lost first. And it doesn't matter now whichever one. Okay, yeah, we can. So Pain's gonna survive and beat up Chalk. She can't hit pain. She won't ever do the stony glare when it's down to one girl. So this is all you do. You just just hold the button. Just hold the button and win eventually. The so cheese strat for beating up top. Unaleska's unsent self. Unaleska's fiend self.
how y'all doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> this is it. This is this fight is so cheesy. I don't know what strat you're supposed to use if you want all the girls to be alive. I assume it's like you'd have to do way more damage. You'd have to have like more than one invincible um, accessory so that you can break the damage limit. I assume it'd have to be something like that, but yeah, this is how you beat her normally during your first playthrough. We can. She she's so quiet. She left. I did not notice. I was gonna say we can look at Ash while we fight this, but no. And because of how the animations go, they'll just they'll just kind of slowly. These two will just kind of slowly circle around the center on this like little outer rim here. They'll just like slowly circle. Because you'll keep dodging backwards every time um, Chalk attacks. But yeah, Berserker's OP. You can see why I spent so much time leveling up everyone as Berserkers for this fight. I wish this strategy worked on Trevor too, but it don't. <laughs> Just by the way. Kaiser Knuckles on her. He's doing more damage. He's doing pretty consistent over 3k every single time. That's good. Even on the counter attacks. Got some stats on her while we do this. All right. So she has. Okay. Four hundred thirty-seven thousand eight hundred and fifty HP. She's level ninety-eight.
It's 820 MP. We took that away with our spring. Uh, 254 strength, 152 magic, 88 defense, 166 magic defense, 164 agility, 14 accuracy, zero evasion. So that's how we're able to do this so well. Zero luck. Again, that's how we're able to do this so well. Um, he rewards 2,200 XP. And there we go. That's all for Pain. Pain gets all of that because the other girls did not survive. All right. Thank you, Pain. Thank you, Pain, for winning the day. Good job, girl. Good job. Okay. And this is this is little cutscene. You don't get any percentage points for this, but there's like a tiny little cutscene. Sorry, Zemnis. Unaleska's gone. I sent her. Bye. It's the original sin. Okay. So let's backtrack so that we can go up and save. I'm gonna switch back to mascots. Definitely want our AP egg back on you. And uh, let's see. I have, oh, yeah, I was using the crystal bangles. Was it must be down at the bottom, I guess. There it is. All my zillions of crystal pankles. Okay. And then we want speed bracer and bangle. Racer. Crystal bangle. Okay. All right. All right, let's head back down. We have 20 more floors to get to Trema, you guys. 20 more floors, so let's see how many of those we can do. I'm gonna try to fight our way down, like just to level up the mascots and uh, and just regular levels to get to 99 more to kind of reduce the amount of grinding. Because once we get to Tremo, we're gonna need to grind up to level 99 and try to finish the mascot dress spheres. Um, so to reduce that, we're gonna try to fight as many battles as we can as we're kind of making our way down to him. But if it gets too ridiculous, then I will turn off the auto battles and we can just walk, but we'll see. We'll see, hopefully it will not get too ridiculous. But this is the last 20 levels, so this is like the hardest um, fiends. The hardest non-boss fiends in the game, basically. Or, well, there are some bosses, actually. Some older bosses that will respawn here. But yeah, like this guy. Oh my gosh, it's Boris, y'all. Um, but it's called uh, Ariane now. Um, but yeah, it's Boris. You remember him? The very first boss we fought in Mount Gagazet? I remember. Some of them are going to be easy pushovers like that, but... Not all. Not everything down here is like that. So we'll see how it goes. And I'm going to try to fight just like I did on the other floors. Hey, it's you again. We just we just met. We just saw you. How are you doing? Gotcha. Try to get as close to level 99 as we can.
Oh, this guy is a regular... Okay. Elder Drake is a regular enemy. Stupid protect. Okay, let's, um, let's Catlin gun him. I think I can just attack. HP. But he drops good mega potions. I hope I don't run into the giant Tonberry as a regular enemy. Ah, oh, no, I didn't mean to waste MP on that. Come on, girls, kill it, kill it, kill it. Pernicious powder. I don't want it. I don't want to be per pernicious. <gasps> oh no, what? 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 That was so unfair. That was so unfair. What in the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? No, rude. Oh, you again. Okay, no. Absolutely the fuck not. Goodbye. Come on. No. Better not stone all three of them. That is exactly what it does every time. That is not fair. I cannot believe that. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, let's look at that again. Okay, okay, okay. Um. I guess until I actually learn ribbon on the mascots, I'm gonna have to put a ribbon on one of them. Oh, uh, Yuna's almost got it. Okay. Then we'll switch the AP egg over to Riku. She can get it. That is redonkulous. Yeah, these last 20 levels, the fiends are, are crazy. different bitch. I was like, let's see if I see that thing again. The heck. Okay, we might. Gosh. <sighs> we might actually need to um, turn off the random battles and just walk down there. Or I might need to, to get mascot leveled up before and then come back. waste all my phoenix downs 
on this nonsense. And he's still not dead. Still not dead. I'm trying to think. Think what our new plan is. Okay. I really don't want to do the cheap thing and like turn off the battles. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pause here to do our grinding. All right, so let's go. And we're gonna finish grinding out to get ribbon for the mascots, and then we're gonna try those levels again. So here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna go over to that one optional dungeon that's over here in the Thunder Plains. And we're gonna speedy speedy level up. Use our AP egg to get everyone ribbon. Take me to the hole. Hey, Ludiga, we do Draruma. Yeah. In the hole. Okay. Speedy, speedy. Oh, I should probably turn up encounters, too. Getting close. And we'll just do this until we get everybody ribbon, and then we're gonna go try again. So I would like to not turn off battles walking down there. I will if I have to, but I'd prefer if we can just do it and actually fight our way down there like you're supposed to. Because in the original version, you cannot turn off battles there. You have to fight your way all the way down there. I mean, I guess you could just use escape and just run away. But, like, you can't just turn off battles. Ribbon for Yuna. Ribbon for me. And I guess there's a reason that it costs so much to get this ability. It is kind of cheatery. You just have ribbon on the character.
And once we get Ribbon, the rest of the abilities for um, the mascot dress fear take like no time at all. They're like really easy to get. Just this, this Ribbon one that takes so long. You can do it, girls. I believe in you. Kind of what rate we're going at. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's get ri uh, Ribbon for Yuna before the break. We'll switch the AP go egg over. Riku! Because Pain, for whatever reason, like, knows most of her uh, mascot abilities. I don't know why it's like that. Um, and Yuna and Riku have to learn a lot of theirs, their mascot abilities. Pain already knows. Very funny. we go. Got our ribbon. Okay, let's switch the AP egg from Yuna over to Riku. Move that. got quite a ways to go, but we've got the key egg on her now. Um, do I have something to cure silence? Oh, well, I have 99 remedies. <laughs> so there we go. You're cured, Riku. Okay. All right, you guys. So I'm going to take a little stretch break. When we come back, we will do more level ups uh, to try to get ribbon for everybody before we go back down into Via Infinito and fight our way to Trema. Um, all right. Are y'all watching the VOD on YouTube? Whoa, holy, where's the focus? Hello. The focus is so far up. It's so far up. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. <laughs> for y'all watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.